welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lime. So today you are in for such a treat. I'm so excited to be working on this recipe. Today we are making butter chicken. I love butter chicken. It's something about the sauce. Like it's a little sweet, a little bit savory. It's just so rich and delicious. I love it. It's one of my all time favorite Indian dishes. Now, if you guys have never tried Indian food, this is gonna be a real treat for you because like I said, it's such a flavorful dish. It's like a tomato and cream um, based dish. And this is the perfect way to kind of get your foot in the door with trying out Indian foods. I highly, highly, highly recommend this recipe. I'm so fortunate. I was like researching different recipes and I kind of took some bits and pieces from different recipes and combined it to make my perfect butter chicken recipe. I absolutely love it. Now the good thing about this recipe is that a lot of these items you should already have in your pantry. The one thing that I know you guys are not going to have in your pantry is um, a certain seasoning called Graham Marsa Masala. Um, I don't even really keep it in my pantry. So it's going to be the one thing that I know you guys are going to have to go out and purchase. Otherwise, every other ingredient that you guys are going to see today are going to be things that you can find in the comfort of your own home and you don't have to go out and purchase it. So I am just so excited to get started on this dish. Let's get started. By the way, I wanted to go ahead and mention that if you guys have not already followed me on Instagram, then I don't know what you're doing. You can follow me on Instagram at Mrs. Lawn and follow me on Instagram will take care of a couple of things. First and foremost, you'll get to see the recipe that I'm going to upload for cooking with blonde earlier than Wednesday. I usually start promoting on like Monday or Tuesday so that way you can kind of like gather different ingredients and stuff like that and get ready for Wednesday's recipe. Also, if I'm ever like, if I'm not going to post or anything like that, you'll always find out on my social media accounts first. And then, duh, like why else wouldn't you just want to follow me? I always upload um, different things on my Instagram from lifestyle to food that we're cooking for dinner that I may not feature right here on Cooking with Lawn. And plus, if you recreate one of my recipes, I always repost it on either my page or our joint Instagram account, which is at Hen and Lawn. So yeah, if you haven't already, we're just going to pause this video right now to give you guys the opportunity to go follow us on Instagram. All right, y'all. So first things first, I'm going to start by doing two things. I forgot to mention, we are serving this up with basmati rice, which is a traditional um, Indian rice that they serve with all Indian dishes. If you have jasmine rice, you can use jasmine rice if you like. But when I'm making authentic recipes, I like to use authentic ingredients, and basmati rice is definitely one of them. So you can get your hands on it. It's probably like three or four bucks. I would definitely recommend going out and getting it. But if not, just use jasmine try to stay away from white rice it's just it's ugh, it's just not good i don't like it, it tastes kind of chalky um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees and that's gonna go um that's gonna start getting preheated so that we can heat up our naan and then i'm gonna go ahead and heat up a pan or a pot on medium heat now if you guys don't know what naan is um naan is like a traditional like indian bread um <clears throat> i'm trying to figure out how to explain it it's kind of like almost like pita bread if you if you will it's kind of like pita bread and um they have them in many not many different flavors but they usually serve it in just like traditional and then they usually have um a garlic like a garlic butter bread as well so i have some garlic and i'll show you guys that in a little bit but to get started i'm gonna go ahead and chop up some just regular yellow onion and if you guys like indian food tell me what your favorite indian recipes are I love um, just the classics like butter chicken and chicken tikka masala. Those are my favorites, but I'm in like curries, of course. But I'm always looking to kind of expand my horizons and try different foods and different flavors. So I got my onions all chopped up. I'm just going to move those to the side. 
and then I'm gonna chop up some garlic I only need a half teaspoon of this so I'm only gonna use a little bit this is I mean did I say garlic this is ginger <laughs> this is um, fresh ginger root and you definitely want to use fresh you don't want the powder kind or anything like that so I'm just gonna slice around the edges of the ginger to take off the skin now this is just the lazy way but you can also um, take off the skin by just scraping it with a spoon so you can do that as well but I just decided to cut it off and ginger is just so amazing like if you're um, um, brewing hot tea I know I love hot tea and if you want to put a few pieces of ginger in your tea oh my gosh it just it just takes your tea to a whole nother level okay so I'm just going to mince up this ginger mince it up and when I say mince if you guys aren't familiar with like certain dices when I say that I'm a mince something that means that I'm gonna chop it up very finely like you know if you go to the store and you buy like minced garlic in the jar that's exactly what I'm doing to this ginger because ginger is very pungent it's very strong and you don't want one of your guests to bite into a huge piece of ginger so just keep chopping away until you know it's all in small uniform pieces and then the last thing I, I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some chicken tenderloin. And that's going to be ch the chicken that we use for our butter chicken. Now, if you have chicken thighs at home, I highly recommend using chicken thighs. I love using chicken thighs when it comes to um, something that needs to be tender and moist. Chicken thighs are just naturally moist. I needed a piece of napkin. Chicken thighs are just naturally moist pieces of the chicken. And like I said, if you have that in your fridge or in your freezer, or if you have to run out and get chicken, definitely go and get go ahead and get chicken thighs. I'm using chicken tenderloins just because that's what I have in my freezer. I'm also um just cooking for myself this week because Henry is away on his birthday trip so after I actually make this recipe today I'm actually going to freeze it or probably just store it in the refrigerator and take it for lunch for work tomorrow because we grilled out yesterday and I already have enough to eat for dinner so that's my little spiel on the chicken but yeah that's another reason why I have such a little um such a little bit of food because I'm only cooking for myself and I don't want to make a big pot of this so I'm just cutting my chicken tenderloins into bite-sized pieces. That I don't have to like cut up. I can just pop in my mouth when I'm eating the butter chicken. Right, so first thing we're going to do is start out by heating some butter in the pan. Now that the butter is melted in the pan, I'm going to add in our chicken breast. I'm going to take this off of the flame and we're going to finish cooking it later. Now I'm going to add in the rest of the butter. Let this melt. I'm going to add in the onions. And we're just going to let this cook down until the onions have just completely softened and turned translucent. Now that the onions have cooked down for a little bit, I'm going to add in the garlic. as well as the ginger. And it's starting to smell so good in here, guys, with the onions, the ginger, and the garlic. As soon as the ginger and garlic hit the hot pan, it just started to infuse the entire kitchen. Next, I'm gonna add in chili powder, cumin, cayenne pepper, and the gram mass. 
masala. So I'm gonna let this cook for maybe, because you don't want it to burn, but you kind of want the spices to cook. I'm gonna let this cook for like maybe two to three minutes. Mm, and the flavors, you can just smell all of the spices. Goodness gracious. Oh, it's starting to smell like mm, real Indian food in here, y'all. Now I'm ready to add in my tomato sauce. Stir this around. Oh, guys, I wish you guys could smell this through the camera. Mm. All of that, the bits that were on the bottom of the pan have just cooked into the tomato sauce. Lastly, I'm gonna add in heavy cream. So I already started boiling my water for our basmati rice. I have a cup of basmati rice here and I'm gonna add in just some butter and then a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna give time for that butter to melt. So this is the brand rice I purchased. This is the Carolina Basmati rice. I love the Carolina brand rices. This is the brand that I buy my jasmine rice and I think the jasmine rice comes in a purple package if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then the Basmati rice comes in a blue package. It's really easy to find. I find it at my local Target, um, but you can also find it at Walmart and I've also never really had a problem with finding it at any of my local um, grocery stores. So if you're looking to buy the Basmati rice, which I highly suggest, just so you can get that authentic Indian cuisine flavor and taste, um, then you can check out all of those different stores to see if they have it. But they definitely should. It shouldn't be an issue. So now that our um, butter has melted in the water, I'm going to just go ahead and put in my rice. And you know what? I'm not really familiar... I don't cook basmati rice too often. Let me see if I need to cover it. Yep, it says to cover it. So um, I'm going to turn this down on a low simmer and then I'm going to put the lid on it and it's probably going to cook between like 15 and 20 minutes until all the water is absorbed and boiled out. All right, so y'all remember we um, preheated our oven to 400 degrees. I hope you did not forget about our garlic naan. This is the naan that I am using. I actually got it from Trader Joe's. It's a frozen, it, I mean, I said it's a frozen. It's frozen already. It already has the flavor in it. And like I said, it's the garlic kind. So if you're near a local Trader Joe's, then I would recommend you go to Trader Joe's to pick this up. I have not seen this in another store, but I also may not have been looking for it. So um, I would definitely try to go to like, maybe like a more bougie grocery store to try to find this. Your local grocery store may not have it, but they, they might, but I don't know. But yeah, you can check out Trader Joe's because that's where I got this one from. And it's four in a pack. Look at this, oh my gosh. So I'm just about to throw these in the oven and I'm gonna put these directly on the, um, on the oven rack and it's going to go into the oven for like two minutes until they're warm throughout. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I'm so ready to try this. I'm gonna start out with the butter chicken and basmati rice. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. The the sauce just like completely thickened up. Let me get a bunch of rice. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. mm this sauce is so savory it's something about that grandma masala that gives it like the slightest hint of sweetness oh my gosh y'all mmm 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 yo this sauce is so 
rich do not skimp get the whole cream heavy cream don't get half and half don't get milk the cream just adds some type of richness to it and then i have to try this nine mm, i'm gonna dip it in the sauce yo <laughs> Oh my, oh my God. Why have I never tried this non bread before? Mm. <clears throat> mm. Yum. This is a winner. I can sit up here and eat this entire bag of non bread, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. But when y'all go to Trader Joe's and y'all get this bread, and you see how garlicky and buttery it is? Mm. I am a happy camper. This has, I think this is one of my favorite dishes. Out of all the dishes that I've made on Cooking with Lime, this is my favorite, hands down. If you have not tried butter chicken before, if you have not tried any Indian recipes before, this is a perfect way to start out. I'm just so excited. Please, if you recreate this recipe, make sure that you tag me on Instagram. I have been reposting so many DMs that I've gotten from so many of you recreating the recipes at home, and I definitely want to see more. So definitely DM me, hashtag cooking with lawn so that I can see those photos and those uploads, or you can tag at Hen and Lawn or at Mrs. Lawn. So I thank you guys for tuning into another episode of Cooking with Lawn. I will see you back next Wednesday, same time, same place, different recipe. I'll see y'all later. And I, I know I said that I was going to eat this for lunch tomorrow. I think this is about to get devoured now.